ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಪ್ರಾಯೋಜಕರು ಜೈನ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ತುಂತುರು ಮತ್ತು ಹನಿ ನೀರಾವರಿ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳ ಉತ್ಪಾದಕರು ಬೇಸಾಯ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೂಪಕರು ಹಾಗೂ ರೋಗರಹಿತ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಬರೀಸ್ ಕೋಕೋ ಬೆಳೆಸಿ ಅಧಿಕ ಆದಾಯ ಗಳಿಸಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳು ತನ್ನಿ ಪರಿವರ್ತನೆ ಹಾಯ್ ಹೆಲೋ ಆಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟಿವಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಟ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವಿ ಮೇ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಸೀಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಜೈನ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಸೀಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನಿಲ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ who is the tissue head of tissue culture division in jain jain irrigation systems limited so let us bring him into our program and let us uh, let us ask him few questions and get to know about how the jain jain irrigation systems limited works how they develop this tissue culture coffee seedlings what is what are the benefits of uh, tissue culture coffee seedlings and what is the difference between uh, seedlings which is uh, which is originated from seeds and the Uh, seedlings which are or- originated from tissue culture plants jain irrigation has been involved in agriculture activities in different fields tissue culture is one among the very popular activity jain irrigation has been doing since last 30 years jain irrigation has started this activity with banana in the first year we produced and sold 50000 plants year over year we increase our production and reached to a total capacity and we have produced and sold 110 million plants of banana the overwhelming response in banana is specially and specifically due to the disease free planting material this technology could able to produce and because of that the the issues of the diseases and pest have been reduced apart from that in banana the productivity has increased because of the selection of the good planting material used for the propagation of the plants this technology allows to produce a true to type planting material the selection of the mother plants is very crucial step in the whole process where the elite plants are used to produce the plantlets after banana jain irrigation started the production of pomegranate which was the first in the country and maybe in the world on the commercial scale we have received overwhelming response in banana as well as pomegranate later we introduce strawberries guava and few many crops later we understood the issues of coffee today i am here and attending a world coffee congress being held at bangalore this is the fifth international coffee congress being held at we have started the production of tissue culture plants of coffee some 5 years back the first batch of tissue culture coffee was released 5 years back and it was given to the selected farmers the idea of propagating tissue culture coffee is that most of the coffee plants propagated in india are through seed and the plants produced from the seed carries the heterozygosity and because of the heterozygosity there are around 30 to 35% genetic variability among the plants that genetic variability reduces the productivity of the growers we observed that tissue culture would be the best solution and best way to tackle this problem in tissue culture 
the vegetative cells are used to propagate the plants and as i mentioned earlier in the case of banana and pomegranate and many crops we use a vegetative cell similarly in coffee also we use a cells tissues from the selected mother plant and produce the coffee plants we we follow a different route in propagation of coffee that is the somatic embryogenesis route where millions of plants could be produced we recently have signed an mou with the coffee board and we have been supplying them the plants produced from uh, through tissue culture uh, technology similarly we are planning to produce the plants uh, for the uh, for the corporates for the coffee states uh, owners and the plants will be available for commercial scale for each and every grower in coffee we have focused mostly on two varieties the first is the chandragiri and second is the c into r we will also start propagation of other varieties which are popular among the growers as well as we are also planning to propagate the selected clones by the individual growers or the corporates jain irrigation has an experience and expertise in tissue culture we have been in this business since last 30 years and we know better the technology of this tissue culture so looking to the experience and expertise of this technology we recommend and advise farmer to use jain tissue culture planting material because we not only have the experience and expertise but we also have the facilities required for the good quality planting material that is produced from the tissue culture koko iga karnataka da vanijya totada belegalallondu adikka iluvariya hybrid f1 gidagalu cadbury nursery galalli matra labhya ಗಿಡ ಬೇಕಾದವರು ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಬರಿ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳನ್ನು ಸಂಪರ್ಕಿಸಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಭಾರತದ ಹನಿ ನೀರಾವರಿ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪ್ರವರ್ತಕ ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಅತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಉತ್ಪಾದಕ ಕಂಪನಿ ಸಂರಕ್ಷಿತ ಕೃಷಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಸಿರು ಮನೆಗಾಗಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಫಾಗರ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ಯಾಡ್ ಹಾಗೂ ನೆರಳು ಮನೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಚಾಲಿತ ನೀರಾವರಿ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮತ್ತು ರಸಾವರಿ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಕೃಷಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರಿನ ಸಮರ್ಪಕ ಬಳಕೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಉಳಿತಾಯಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಹೆಸರು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದ ನಿಖರ ನೀರಾವರಿ ಮತ್ತು ಫರ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ ಆಟೋಮೇಷನ್ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಕೃಷಿ ಕಾರ್ಮಿಕರ ಕೊರತೆ ದುಬಾರಿ ಕೂಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅನಿಯಮಿತ ವಿದ್ಯುತ್ ಪೂರೈಕೆಗೆ ಪರಿಹಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ನಂಬಿಕಾರ್ಹ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳಿಂದ ಇದೀಗ ಕೃಷಿ ನೀರಾವರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೆರಳ ತುದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐಎಸ್ಐ ಪ್ರಮಾಣೀಕೃತ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಪಿಇ ಜಿಯೋ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಪಾಂಡ್ ಲೈನರ್ಗಳು ಕೃಷಿ ಹೊಂಡ ಕೆರೆ ಕಾಲುವೆ ಮೀನುಕೊಳ ಸ್ಪಿರುಲಿನ ಹೊಂಡಗಳಿಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ ಆಕಾರ ಮತ್ತು ವಿಸ್ತೀರ್ಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಕಾರದ ಸಬ್ಸಿಡಿ ಯೋಜನೆಯಡಿ ಲಭ್ಯ ನೂರು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಪುನರ್ಬಳಕೆ ಯುವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಒಡಕು ನಿರೋಧಕ ಪಕ್ಕಾ ಜೋಡಣೆ ಐದು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಲಿಖಿತ ವಾರಂಟಿ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿತಕಾರಿ ನರ್ಸರಿ ಡಿಬಿಟಿ ಮತ್ತು ಎನ್ಹೆಚ್ಪಿ ಮಾನ್ಯತೆ ಪಡೆದ ಸಮಗ್ರ ತೋಟಗಾರಿಕಾ ನರ್ಸರಿ ಮಾವು ಸೀಬೆ ಚಿಕ್ಕು ಹಲಸು ನಿಂಬೆ ಪಪ್ಪಾಯಿ ಮೆಕೆಡೇಮಿಯಾ ಗೋಡಂಬಿ ಬಟರ್ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಜಂಬು ನೇರಳೆ ಅಡಿಕೆ ತೆಂಗು ಕಾಫಿ ಏಲಕ್ಕಿ ಕಾಳು ಮೆಣಸು ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಬಾಳೆ ಬಿದಿರು ಮತ್ತು ತೇಗದ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಗಿಡಗಳು ನಗರ ಕೃಷಿ ಗಿಡ ಸಲಕರಣೆಗಳು ಮಣ್ಣು ನೀರಿನ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಮತ್ತು ತರಬೇತಿಗಳು ಪರಿಣಿತರಿಂದ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆ ಸ್ವಂತದ ತಾಯಿ ಮರಗಳು ಹಣ್ಣುಗಳ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ಹಿತಕಾರಿ ನರ್ಸರಿ 
after a short break once again welcome so up to now dr anil patil sir has you know given briefed us about the tissue culture coffee plants its benefits how jain irrigation systems limited were producing this one what are the benefits of uh, you know buying tissue culture plants coffee plants especially that to from jain irrigation systems limited and everything now let us bring dr uh, k b patil sir he is the senior vice president of the tissue culture marketing and agriculture services in jain system jain irrigation systems limited and let let him speak about the importance of this world coffee congress and why the total uh, overall yield of coffee is uh, declining in karnataka region and what are all the facilities jain is providing and what are all the steps a farmer can take to improve his yield we are here in uh, in bangalore for world coffee congress so the theme of world coffee congress and if you look at to the issues of the coffee plantations here in uh, karnataka uh, kerala tamil nadu odisha or andhra telangana so now we as a country we are the large uh, coffee producer but uh, our productivity uh, if we compare with the vietnam and brazil our productivity is very less comparatively but in in terms of quality in terms of shade coffee in terms of uh, the uh, forest uh, cultivation coffee or uh, sustainability and biodiversity uh, coffee plantation india is very well famous but due to the climate change due to the changing scenario our coffee is in trouble since last uh, many year there is uh, up and down in the production because of the climate issue so we as a jain irrigation we are ready to provide the climate smart solution for the coffee planters and what are these climate smart solution and what are the issues of coffee today as you have already mentioned that tissue culture is one of the technology in which we can provide the genetically uniform plantation and also the vigorous disease free plants from the tissue culture but it is not the only solution coffee is grown on the wide range in, in the hilly western ghat region where the soils are very very well drained and and also the lateritic soil even also the ph is good and and the rainfall is also very high though this climate is good but how it impact on the coffee production compared to the brazil and vietnam we have to understand the model so when we are planting coffee in hilly region first we have a challenge of blossom irrigation many time our, our planters they miss the crop because there is a uneven rain during the blossoming and that's why there is a uneven blossoming or many time they lose the crop so we as a jain irrigation we have a solution ki how can with the help of micro irrigation with the help of overhead uh, uh, micro sprinkler irrigation how can we help the co uh, coffee planter for the blossom irrigation that is one solution so we recommend ki we should have a micro irrigation system with micro sprinkler for the climate control but we also uh, should have a drip irrigation in the root zone of the plant because in sprinkler irrigation system we are irrigating to the uh, to the land and not to the plant and that's why in coffee area the water management plays very important role the water crises are there in the hilly region and that's why many time the productivity is coming down so another important solution is we should have a proper nutrition management because the yield the quality the production the cup quality the flavor is mainly depend on the nutrition and irrigation management so whatever nutrition today our coffee planters are doing they are doing in a traditional way since last 70 to 100 years so uh, what we appeal and what we recommend that we should have a smart nutrition solution with the help of automation with the help of fertigation technology we must apply the nutrient in the root zone of the plant as per the growth stages of the plant in the coffee also the uh, the nutrient requirement in the growth stage is different nutrient requirement in the blossom stage is different the nutrient requirement in the berry development is different and the nutrient requirement in the maturity stage is different but today we don't have that kind of system available 
uh, applying on the plantation and that's why if we do the proper balanced nutrient management as per the growth stages of the coffee plant definitely that will improve the productivity that will improve the quality and not only that it is the only sustainable way it is the only way we can stop the pollution we can stop the groundwater pollution we can stop the river water pollution we can stop the reservoir water pollution why because when our planters they are applying fertilizer manually and it is a high rainfall area very very high drain soil so after high rainfall all the nutrient they dissolve in the water and just flow away from the root zone in the river and in the reservoir and that's why we as a joint irrigation we have a 30 40, 40 years of experience in the smart irrigation solution in the country and that's why we says ki nutrient has to be applied in the root zone on daily basis because plant is producing biomass plant is growing every day its food requirement is on every day and that's why this is the only solution we can apply nutrient in the rhizosphere where the nutrient efficiency is about 90 percent and the traditional efficiency is around 45 to 50 percent so overall if we wanted to maintain the microflora and fauna in the root zone there must be a uniform wetting pattern if we wanted to address the white stem borer problem there must be wetting in the root zone if we address want to address the uh, uh, problem of uh, termite or ant if the soil is moist in the root zone you can address the problem of insect and pest attack and that's why what we feel ki we we should go in a way we, which is the sustainable way we can maintain the biodiversity we can we, uh, we can we can uh, conserve the natural resources and definitely that will take coffee to the next level because of the climate change we are now facing lot of problem and we have to think over how to address all the issues in coffee and and other plantation crops with the help of joint technology so this is our uh, 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 appeal to all of the planters kindly work together with the coffee board with jain irrigation and come up with the new solution new model for the sustainability of the coffee thank you very much krishi pragati sakaramaitu still tantra jnana di sadhyavaitu ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳು ತನ್ನಿ ಪರಿವರ್ತನೆ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ ಸಾವಯವ ಕೃಷಿಯ ವೇಗವರ್ಧಕ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶ ಪೂರೈಕೆಗೆ ಎನ್ಪಿಕೆ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ವ್ಯಾಮ್ ಪಿಎಸ್ಪಿ ಮತ್ತು ಕೆಎಂಬಿ ಜೈವಿಕ ರೋಗ ಕೀಟ ನಿಯಂತ್ರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೈಕೋಡರ್ಮ ಸೋಡೋಮನಾಸ್ ಸಾವಯವ ಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆಗೆ ಕಾಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಹೂವು ಕಾಯಿ ಉದುರುವ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗೆ ಕಾಮಧೇನು ಮತ್ತು ಸತ್ವ ಮಣ್ಣಿನ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ವೃದ್ಧಿಗೆ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ ಧಾರವಾಡ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಲಿ ನರ್ಸರಿ ರೋಗ ವೈರಸ್ ನೆಮಟೋಡ್ ರಹಿತ ಪಣಿಯೂರು ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಐದು ತೇವಂ ಕಾಳು ಮೆಣಸು ಅಧಿಕ ಇಳುವರಿಯ ಚಂದ್ರಗಿರಿ ಎಫ್ ಒನ್ ಹೇಮಾವತಿ ಸಿ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಡ್ವಾರ್ಫ್ ರೋಬಸ್ಟಾ ಕಾಫಿ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಮೂಡಿಗೆರೆ ಸಕಲೇಶ್ಪುರ ನೆಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ಏಲಕ್ಕಿ ಜಾಯಕಾಯಿ ಚಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಓಕ್ ಅಡಿಕೆ ಬಟರ್ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಹಲಸು ಮುಂತಾದ ಹಣ್ಣಿನ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಕಳಂಕರಹಿತ ಬಹುಕಾಲ ಸೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗುರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಲಿ ನರ್ಸರಿ ನೂಆಲ್ಗಿ ನ್ಯಾನೋ ಬಯೋಟೆಕ್ ಹದಿಮೂರು ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳ ಪೇಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಡೆದ ನ್ಯಾನೋ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನದ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನ ಭೂಮಿ ಮತ್ತು ಗೊಬ್ಬರಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಂಪಡಿಸಲು ನೂಆಲ್ಗಿ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಎಲೆಗೆ ಸಿಂಪಡಿಸಲು ನೂಆಲ್ಗಿ ಫೋಲಿಯಾರ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ಮೀನು ಸಿಗಡಿ ಸಾಕಣೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಉಪಯುಕ್ತ ಗಿಡಗಳ ಆಹಾರ ತಯಾರಿಕೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಇಳುವರಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ನೂಆಲ್ಗಿ ಭೂಮಿ ದೀಪ ಸಾರಜನಕ ರಂಜಕ ಒದಗಿಸುವ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಾಣು ಜೀವಿ ಮಿಶ್ರಿತ ಸಮೃದ್ಧ ಸಾವಯವ ಎರೆಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಕಾಳು ಮೆಣಸಿಗೆ ಟ್ರೈಕೋಡರ್ಮ ಸಂವರ್ಧಿತ ವಿಶೇಷ ಎರೆಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಕುದುರೆ ಹೆಸರಗತ್ತೆ ಲದ್ದಿಯ ಅಧಿಕ ಪೌಷ್ಟಿಕಾಂಶದ ಅಶ್ವಸಾರ ಎರೆಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಎನ್ಪಿಕೆ ಲಘು ಮತ್ತು ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳು ಸಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಚೋದಕಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನುಗಳ ಆಗರ ಭೂಮಿ ದೀಪ ಎರೆಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಜೈ 
ಜೈನ್ಸ್ ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಅತಿದೊಡ್ಡ ಅಂಗಾಂಶ ಕೃಷಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಗಾಲಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಟಿಸಿ ಗಿಡಗಳ ಉತ್ಪಾದಕರು ಸಮೃದ್ಧ ಇಳುವರಿಗೆ ಜೈನ್ ಜಿ ನೀನ್ ಯಾಲಕ್ಕಿ ನೇಂದ್ರನ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಕೆಂಪು ಬಾಳೆ ಸಸಿಗಳು ದಾಳಿಂಬೆ ಭಗವತಳಿಯ ರೋಗಮುಕ್ತ ಸಸಿಗಳು ಲಕ್ನೋ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಪೇರಳೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಬೆರಿ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಯೋಗ್ಯ ಬೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂಗಾಂಶ ಕೃಷಿಯ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ಬ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಜೈನ್ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಕಾಫಿ ಬೆಳೆಗಾರರಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಸಿ ಎ ಜೋಶಿ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಜೈನ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಇವರಿಂದ ಹಾರ್ದಿಕ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಟ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿ ಸಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಾಫಿ ಗ್ರೋವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕಾಫಿ ಕಾಫಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ Jain irrigation is helping coffee farmers in several aspects. First of all, we are giving the highest quality and disease free tissue culture coffee plants for the growers. Unnata darjaya coffee sasigalan tam kodlikke ivattu coffee board mattu CC area ottige oppanda maadkondide. But giving this quality planting material is not enough. We must also provide and guide farmers for good water and nutrient management. As you all may know, Jain Irrigations is the largest micro-irrigation company in the world. We will provide all type of equipments which is required for coffee plantations. That may be HDP pipes ranging from 20 mm to 200 mm, fitting and services, sprinkler, rain gun, fertigation and irrigation equipments, or automation equipments for irrigation and fertigation. In this case, we will be able to do the automation and automation equipments in this case. We will be able to do the coffee farmers can get the benefits of all these equipments and the services of Jain Irrigations. This is the case of fertigation. We will be able to do the fertigation. Good quality planting materials, good management practices, giving right amount of irrigation and fertigation at the right time is very important. for getting a quality and good yield in coffee karanadinda innomme idanna aayojisiruvantaha karnataka sarkara bharata sarkara hagu coffee board ivarigellarigu now jain irrigation paravagi hagu ella raita varagada paravagi tamgellarigu abhinandane sallistene tamgella yasha shigli ee ee ondu conference ella rithinda yasha shivagli dhanyavadagalu so today we came to world coffee congress which is being held in bengaluru and firstly uh, we met uh, dr anil patil sir he briefed us about the tissue culture coffee seedlings and why a farmer must select tissue culture co- coffee seedlings and why he must choose jain irrigation systems limited uh, tissue culture plants then we met uh, dr kb patil sir he briefed us about the importance and the facilities which is which are being given by jain irrigation systems limited to the coffee grower so that a uh, farmer can increase his uh, coffee yield then we again met uh, dr c a joshi he is the senior manager karnataka and he also briefed us about the jain irrigation systems limited the facilities given by jain irrigation systems limited so with this program i hope you learned uh, something new about the tissue culture coffee seedlings how it came and how we can improve the our yield and productivity in coffee so by thanking all of them and also by thanking all of you i want to conclude this episode thank you ee karyakramada prayojakaru ಜೈನ್ ಇರಿಗೇಷನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಜಾಗತಿಕ ತುಂತುರು ಮತ್ತು ಹನಿ ನೀರಾವರಿ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳ ಉತ್ಪಾದಕರು ಬೇಸಾಯ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೂಪಕರು ಹಾಗೂ ರೋಗರಹಿತ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಗಿಡಗಳು ಕ್ಯಾಡ್ಬರೀಸ್ ಕೋಕೋ ಬೆಳೆಸಿ ಅಧಿಕ ಆದಾಯ ಗಳಿಸಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳು ತನ್ನಿ ಪರಿವರ್ತನೆ